Hello guys, Tom Land Reaction of this Grimdark Reading called My Little Pony Grimdark Fanfic Reading The Cutie Mark Killers Chapter 3 with bloopers It is 26 minutes and 42 seconds long I'm not sure whereabouts in the story there's bloopers because last time when I reacted to chapter 2 it was actually quite a short chapter and it, most of that was all bloopers if you catch my drift well we're gonna get this reaction started in three two one go warning the following contains graphic content that may be disturbing for some viewers if this is not of your liking you are advised to walk away now walk away now you have been warned. i have been warned the cutie mark killers has that been updated Family val values. Scooter Lou scratched her head. She and the other two crusaders were sitting in their tree fort, having a brain. Hello, Applejack. Despite two kills to their name, they still didn't have their cutie marks. Don't say you're gonna kill Applejack now. Down to the floor. She looked up at her poster in the one room, particularly at her former idol, Rainbow Dash. She sighed again and occupied herself with staring at the floor. Apple Loom was mixing a small book, containing their anesthetic potion they had worked so hard for. It was a complicated recipe, but it seemed to be going well. Sweetie Belle was idly flipping through the pages of her spellbook, her horn wrapped in a slight glow. Well, why didn't we get our cutie marks after Zagora? Scootula asked no one in particular. I think it was because we really didn't claim either kill. Sweetie Belle said. You didn't really claim book. it, you kind of but murdered. Surely I just kind of snapped. When we did Sakura, we were defending ourselves. Right, and that means we weren't using any special talents. That's why we weren't getting any cutie marks. Said Apple excitedly. We just gotta be more... Hmm... Creative. Our next mark should be creative. something important, too. said. It might help if we knew our talents were being used on a pony who really mattered. You have any pony in mind? Sweetie Belle asked. Yeah. An evil smile crept to Scrooge's lips. What? The I elements are murderers, you mean? I think we would get our cutie marks easiest from them. Scootaloo said, unfazed. Those are our sisters you're talking about, Scoots. Shouted Appleton. You can't kill them. Why not? They would do anything for us. Especially if it means getting us a cutie mark. I know it seems bad, but there isn't really another choice here. Anyway, hasn't Applejack held you What about wait for two seasons and five and find <laughs> out? Applebloom stammered. Every time you try to do something, Applejack's there, breathing down your neck. Scootaloo said. Name one time you tried to do anything for yourself and your sister didn't try to stop you. Applebloom leered at her, both silent. Listen, this is for your own good. You can be really? on her constantly getting in her way. Without her, you probably would have got your cutie mark years ago. Don't blame Applejack! Applebloom, you have to out of your sister's shadow at some point. Might as well be now. Applebloom looked between her friends, lost in thought. This was her sister they were talking about. Sure, they didn't always get along, but... But what? Her friends were right. Applejack was constantly getting in her way. She always claimed it was for Applebloom's own good. Now, Applebloom didn't know. She was older, and she could take care of herself. Yet Applejack was always there, trying to stop her. She always would be, too, if Applebloom didn't do something about it. She's there to look after you, to oh. like you. Applebloom sighed and sat down. But let's do her first. Why would you kill your own family, Applebloom? Why? Deal. Said Scootaloo, beaming. How about you, Sweetie Belle? You up to taking out Rarity? Yes. Sweetie Belle muttered. Really? Scootaloo said, looking excited. I would have thought you would be against it. No. Let's do her last. She has to know what is happening to the other elements. I want her scared. There was a terrifying gleam in her eye. Alrighty then. There, this is said, definitely not, not like the characters at all, is it? How are we gonna take care of Applejack? Something quick and painless. Please. Said Applebloom, looking uneasy. If it's quick and painless, it might not be enough to get our marks. Scootaloo said, rolling her eyes. Actually, I've been coming up with a plan for our next kill," said Sweetie Belle. 
We just need to get them to the cellar and to the Apple family's barn. Then what? That's good. They block! So you will tell them her grisly okay, plan. Much to the horror of Apple and to the delight of Scootaloo, the kid would take a while. Why would she murder Apple Jack for man? She's so she planned into the afternoon, making sure that everything would go smoothly. Finally, they agreed and headed home with quick goodbyes. Bye bye. The next day would be a bit busy. Apple Bloom walked through the apple orchard, following oh, a steady bang ring it out from the distance. As she got closer, she found her two older siblings bucking their hind legs against the trees, causing apples to rain down around them. Big Magintosh was carrying a cart behind him, which Applejack had been throwing all of their apples into. The two looked up when they saw Apple Bloom. Hey little sis, what's up? asked Applejack. She sat down to take a break, and Big Magintosh- Hello Applejack! Sis, can you help me with something? There was a terrible knot forming in Apple Bloom's stomach. However, she fought through her doubts. She knew what had to be done. What might that be? Me and my crusader friends were going to prepare some cider for the summer sun celebration coming up. We wanted you to help us work the juice for us. Abu put on her best puffy eyes face. Applejack sighed. <sighs> right now? Yes, Listen, now. Listen, why don't you wait until me and Mac are done? It should only be a few hours. Abu a few hours? Mm -hmm. A few hours? I just said that. <laughs> Never mind. Me and my friends can do it ourselves. She turned and started to walk away, but was rewarded with hearing Applejack curse under her breath. All right, Apple Bloom, you win. I'll help. You three couldn't work the juicer anyway. It's too dangerous. Far you too dangerous. You can wrap up here yourself, Mac. She asked, looking over her shoulder. Yup. The red workhorse lazily replied. All right, Bloom, lead the way. The two sisters lead the way. Down down the dirt path that led to the barn. It was starting to get dark out. Luna's moon hung on the horizon, causing Apple Moon to feel uneasy. It felt like the princess was watching her every move. She shook her head, clearing the silly thought from That's her a fault. Um, a ten walk, how comes this there. none of the princesses the know about this murder? After you, sis. Right, let's make this quick. I've been working all day. I need a rest. I would just step down the stairs into the You'd be having a big rest. She reached the bottom of the stairs. It was pitch black. As her eyes adjusted to the dark, she heard a rustling to her left. Her head went towards the disturbance. Nothing there. Just more blackness. She heard the noise again, this time directly in front of her. She took a step back towards the stairs. Apple Bloom, can you get a lot? Her voice cracked slightly. I can't see anything down here. There was no response. Apple Bloom, where are you? It's she a trap! It's a trap! It felt like a bee sting, but the pain quickly grew more oh, intense. It felt like cement was going to into her veins. Trembling, she reached over with her other hoof to rub the affected area. To her shock, her hoof hit something metal lodged inside of her. Yanking it out, she saw it was a long, thin needle. Needle? What the buck is, is going? She stumbled backward, trying to find the stairs. It her mind was is... Clouded. She couldn't concentrate on anything. A Not sleeping... draft of the wind. started spinning, and she collapsed onto the floor. The last thing she saw were three small silhouettes approaching her. Okay, is everything ready? Wake her up, Scoots. Got it. Applebloom, get the toolkit. Right. Scootaloo grabbed a bucket of water and splashed their traps in it. With a groan, Applejack slowly came to. As she regained consciousness, she tried to move her head around. Awful. A large leather strap prevented it. All of her limbs were in a similar way. Oh, poor Applejack! Her eyes started around the room. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. She was tied to a wooden table in the middle of the cellar. Her chest heaved as she started to hyperventilate. What's going on? She struggled to look at her captures. Sweetie Belle, is that you? Get help! Scootaloo, go with her! And... Apple Bloom? Apple Bloom was slowly walking towards Applejack. Her face may as well have been made of granite for all of the expression it showed. She reared back and punched Applejack as hard as she could in the gut. Oh! Applejack gasped in pain and reflexively tried to double over. 
The resistance held tight, however, and her hide was starting to chaff against them. Apple Blue! What's gotten into you? She demanded, wheezing. Get me out of here right this second! Avalon gave no response. They need to see a, a certain Dr. Goldstein! She set it on the table, inches away from her terrified sister's face. On it were a collection of knives, arranged from the smallest to the largest. That they were spotless sounds dangerous! Surgically shot. Because it is! Applejack's breathing intensified further. Bloom! Whatever I did, we can talk about it! You don't want to do this! Just let me go! They're not going to listen to you, Apple Blue, uh, Applejack. Around, but got nowhere. The hide on one of her hooves was bleeding faintly. Scootaloo walked over and grabbed one of the knives. It was short and wide, like a dagger. Unlike Apple Bloom, a sinister smile was crossing her face. She walked to the foot of the table. Oh, Scootaloo gently pressed the blade against one of Applejack's hind legs. She started to apply pressure slowly at first. Her sick grin grew wider as she pressed. As the skin started to give way, Applejack cried out in pain. Yeah? Oh, sorry. It reminds, it reminds me of the hoops. What does? It's dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Tim. Can you pass me the cup? Don't mention Ben and Blue House, please. Luna. Luna. That's Luna. Hello Moon. Hello Bear. Cycling is fun. True. Yeah, close the door when you're ready. Oh. <laughs> right. Scootaloo ignored it, and slid the knife deeper into her, past the skin oh! and into the muscle. Blood seeped around the knife, pouring down the leg. Have a bloom! Applejack shouted. Please help! I'm sorry, alright? Whatever it was, I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Please! That is a good she acting from it. Apple Bloom. The blade hit Applejack, I mean. Stop pressing and quickly yanked it out. Oh! Blood, fuck! Shit! Splattering across the table. Applejack screamed with renewed vigor. Scootaloo wasted no time with the other leg. She sank the knife deep ah! into Applejack. It glanced off the bone, creating a ragged gash that as Applejack tried to bump oh, the poor Applejack! The smell of copper was thin in the air as the leg bled profusely. Scootaloo yanked the blade ah! free once more and tossed it to the side. Sweetie Belle was next. From the tray, she selected a longer knife. This one thin and curved on one side. She looked down at Applejack. The Earth Pony's breathing was growing mad. Sweetie watched her chest rhythmically rise and fall. She could see the faint outline of ribs under the orange skin. Ugh. Taking careful aim, she stabbed the knife between them. A crimson tide instantly sprang out from the victim. The knife sunk deep into Applejack's lung. Applejack tried to scream once more, but all that came out was a bloody gurgle. When Sweetie Belle removed the blade, the blood bubbled as air escaped the punctured organ. Sweetie Belle stepped back and stood with Scootaloo. Applejack was fading fast. Her eyes were glazing over, and with each breath she tried to take, more blood poured from her side. It was a matter of minutes. Applejack walked closer and put a hook on her sister's punctured chest. They should be serial killers! Applejack grabbed one of the knives. Applejack looked into her eyes for an eternity. Their this is messed gone. up, man! A tear rolled down Apple Moon's face. Applejack opened her mouth for the last time. <laughs> she croaked. <laughs> Apple Moon didn't let her finish. With a strangled cry, she lifted the knife over her head, and as hard as she could, she brought it down. The blade plunged into Applejack's throat. It slid through the skin. The knife seemed to be moving in slow motion. Apple Moon felt no resistance as it tore through the flesh. The tip found its way between the two vertebrae. As it scraped past the bone, the delicate spinal column was severed until the tip lost itself into the table underneath. Applejack went limp. Her eyes lit at halfway and rolled up into her skull. The blood flowing from her legs and chest stopped. The element of honesty had died. Apple was still clutching the knife. Silence draped over the cellar. 
punctuated by the occasional drops of blood falling from the table. Eventually, but how would she- She released her grip. I was so she bad her backwards and collapsed onto her backside. She felt nothing. No pain. No sorrow. No regret. Just an odd numbing sensation. Oh, come on! Asked Sweetie Belle. Apple looked up and saw her friends were looking at her. Concern etched across their faces. They were a mess. Blood from Applejack's lungs were splattered across Sweetie Belle. Scootaloo's front hooves were smeared with gore. Oh, Apple Moon responded, her voice perfectly even. Just... I need some bone time with my sister. Please. I just need to do... one last thing. Okay, just give us a shout when you're done. Scootaloo said. Okay. Her and Sweetie Belle went up the stairs and closed the trap door behind them. Apple Moon sat in silence, staring at the corpse in front of her. Minutes passed as she figured out what she was going to do. Her eyes rested on an old hacksaw hanging from the wall. From there, she looked towards the apple juicer. The massive stone wheel should work perfectly. With a smile, she grabbed the hacksaw and began to work. Scrooge was getting impatient. It had been nearly a half hour. She knew Apple Moon was having a hard time with this, but this was getting ridiculous. I'm going down there. She told Sweetie Belle. Really? With a huff, Sweetie Belle hopped off the hay bale she was lounging on. All right, but wait for me. She said. And be nice. They can't have been easy on her. They opened the hatch and climbed downstairs. Several torches were lit, bathing the room in a soft glow. There didn't seem to be anyone down there. Even more pressed, however, was that Applejack's body was gone. Oh, hey, girls. Apple Moon said. Walking out from behind the juicer. I just finished up. Finishing up with what? Sweetable asked. And where is your sister's, uh, remains? Right there. Apple Moon Blender. and pointed at a collection of large jars at the base of the giant machine. Each Ugh. one was filled with a chunky red mixture. Oh, come on! Ew, what is that stuff? Sweetable trailed off in shock as her gaze fell upon the juicer's wheel. The stone slab that was used to crush apples into cider looked as if it was painted dark red. Bits of jagged white collected at the base of the wheel, unable to be processed. The rancid smell of gore filled oh, the air. Oh, poor Applejack. Apple Bloom? D did you? Scootaloo stammered, not entirely believing what she was seeing. Sure did. And let me tell y'all, Big Sis tastes mighty good. <laughs> Want some? As Apple Bloom turned around to grab one of the jars, something flashed on her flank. Sweetie Bell squinted at it. Then squealed in excitement. Oh my gosh, Apple Bloom, look! Your flank! Huh? Apple Bloom turned around and looked at her backside. There, on her flank, was a shiny new cutie mark. What is it? Apple Bloom screamed and leapt into the air. It actually worked. She had finally figured out her place in the world and had the cutie mark to prove it. She looked back at it. It looked like a cut of raw meat with a bite taken out of it. Ooh! Two eyes were in the background. Wow, Bloom! That looks awesome! Scootaloo exclaimed. You actually did it! That means ours must not be far behind! Sweetie Belle said. So, what now? Asked Scootaloo. Now? Apple Bloom replied, grabbing a jar of Applejack pulp. <laughs> We're gonna make a pie. Pinky pie style. End chapter 3. Hey, you actually flip. did it! That means ours must not be far behind! F f f behind I actually said f behind What is f <laughs> What is it? I don't know! How about you, Sweetie Belle? You up to... Really? I would have thought you would... Really? I would have thought you had been against it! Oh, come on! Okay, just give them a... Wait, what? What? 
What? What? Eating the bike. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Derpy. I'm not going to pronounce the, uh, that per uh, person's you name. Pocky, a pocky pine bar pocket or something, um, a pocky pine pocket or something. Okay. Alright, let's do. <laughs> what am I doing? Hold on. I don't know. You tell me. Me and my Crusader fans were wondering. Wait, no, there's no wondering in it. Me and my Crusader fans were. <laughs> me and my Crusader friends were wondering. Me and my Crusader friends were going to help. Oh my God. Okay. We wanted. We stop going back to We wanted you to help us prepare the juicer. Prepare the Get it right. Put yourself together. Yeah. Okay. What might that be? Shit. <laughs> Listen, why don't you wait until me and Big Mac are, I don't know why I said Big Mac are done. <laughs> Ow. It's like I just gotta <sighs> emphasize that he's big. You know, I just gotta let you know. Anyway. Yes, yeah, big. It's very big. <laughs> that didn't sound right. Just, 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 just. Just ignore that. <laughs> no. <clears throat> it should only be a few hours. Oh my gosh. <sighs> oh gosh. <laughs> that was such a weird sigh. <sighs> motherfucker, man. <laughs> it's like motherfucker, man. <clears throat> Impatient little freaking. Hey, <laughs> I, I messed up. <laughs> All right, Apple Bloom, you win. Oh gosh, it's horrible. All right, Apple Bloom. Oh gosh. <coughs> All right. Okay. You three couldn't work the juicer anyway. It's too dangerous. You you good to wrap up here? You're uh, <laughs> Okay, right. <laughs> it's like, damn it, Big Mac. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Apple Bloom, you win. Oh, I'll help. You three couldn't work the juicer anyway. It's too day. Oh gosh, I I'm just trying to figure out how to say that first line without it sounding weird. <laughs> it probably sounds perfectly fine. I just it's weird. <laughs> you good to wrap up here yourself, Big Mac? Mac, Big Mac, Mac cheese. You know, are you, are you good to work here yourself because I can't call you anything except Big Mac. I can't even shorten your name. It's like, dang it. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Jeez. All right, Bloom. Lead the little. I don't know why I got tongue twisted on lead. Like, I was like, lead the way. what was going on through my mind? I don't even know. Right. Let's make this quick. <clears throat> Shit. Right. Let's make this quick. I've been working all day and I need a rest. Oh my uh, gosh. A big rest. so weird that my voice cracked a little bit. Apple blue. <laughs> Apple blue. <laughs> what am I supposed to <laughs> My voice cracked slightly. I'm trying to think how, it, how it's supposed to be. Apple blue. <laughs> so I can't you get me a hat. Wait, Granny Smith, what are you doing down here? <laughs> <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> oh, I have a boom. Can you give me a light? I mean, can you get a light? I don't smoke. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. Man, lazy motherfucker. <laughs> I'm, a fucking twat. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <clears throat> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> it's like I'm just kidding. <laughs> Ain't no cousin in here. <laughs> just be weird. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I'm, 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 sh I'm pretty sure you misspelled fuck. <laughs> just <laughs> Damn, fucking apple juice. Apple juice? <laughs> Apparently, Apple Blue is apple juice now, so wow. 
<laughs> Dang it! <sighs> can't read, can't speak, can't think. Wow. Can't say anything, can you? <laughs> what else? Uh, okay. Bloom, whatever I did, I, we could talk about it. You don't know what you're saying. You should have let me know. I'm holding my back. Fuck. <laughs> God. I can't speak. <laughs> no, you can't. Can you? Damn. <laughs> uh, <coughs> Gosh, I'm trying to figure this out. <laughs> I actually had a cough in my throat. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> yup. One line. And now I will proceed to do this line 700 different ways because. Fuck it. Yup. 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 Have I done enough yet? Or, or wait. Yup. I've done enough. <laughs> I've done enough. <laughs> <laughs> Give me this line. Why? Yeah, okay. No. Apple Moon was mixing a small pot containing their. I hate that word. Apple Moon was mixing a small pot. That is loud! An anesthetic potion that they had worked on so hard for. No, not worked on. Shit. <laughs> Apple Moon was mixing a small pot containing their. I hate that word. I hate it! Apple Moon was mixing a small pot containing their. I blew and shouted angrily. Come on, narrator! That, that is very loud! That is very loud! Man! Moron! The three plans. The three plans planned? Put two plans, dude. Causing apples to rain down on them. Causing apples. Get it right! Apple put on her best. Apple Moon put her. <laughs> Fuck me. No, thank she you. Was tied to a wooden table in the middle of the cellar. 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 She grew tired. <sighs> she grew tired. She was tied, you fucking moron. Her first. <laughs> her face. I swear to God. I hate myself. Being so fucking stupid. Her face may have. Nave? What? That was me clapping my hands. Don't worry. The hide on one of her hooves was bleeding frankly. The hide. What was that? Fucking motorcycle. I don't know if you guys heard that. Scooby locked her. Her, her sick grin. <sighs> oh dear. Fuck my life. Again, I said this wasn't gonna be a fucking thing. Oh my god. Apple it is a fucking thing! Got me a jar of Apple Jacks. Oh, for fuck's sake! Okay, that was a My Little Pony Grimdark fanfic reading. The Cootie Mark Killers, Chapter 3, with bloopers. Right, I need to get this out from the start. Um, the music. There's nothing wrong with having music in a fanfic reading. But it was a tad too loud to even hear the dialogue. I couldn't hear, uh, at least at first, of the story, I could not hear the dialogue between Apple Bloom, I think, because the music was overpowering the dialogue. Like I said, there's nothing wrong having music. But it has to be at a suitable level so I can hear the dialogue as well. I was thinking, what, what was Apple Bloom saying? Because the music was overpowering the dialogue. And I thought... And that's, that can be very off-putting, really. To tell you the truth, that can be very, very off-putting. At certain points, Apple Bloom sounds a bit like Granny Smith, for instance. Also... You spell Applejack's name wrong. Applejack is one word, not two words. It's Apple. It's Apple. It's that Apple Bloom. Apple Bloom is two words, but Apple Jack is actually a one worder. It is a one word. Yeah. It is one word, not two, like in the outtake video. 
Oh, looks like Apple Bloom have got her cutie mark. Can't remember what exactly it was called again. But I'm not sure what's going to happen in chapter chapter four. Um, also, I need to mention this now again. At the start of the story, you you're kind of rushing the narration, the the reading. You're kind of rushing the the dot reading the reading the story and at certain points you have to make it sound creepy I'm sorry you have to make it sound creepy you're kind of you when I first heard you you're rushing through that I'm thinking slow down a bit please let me just show you what I mean still didn't have their cutie marks her horn wrapped in a slight glow well, why did you, oh I have to go back and show you a bit there Particularly at her former idol, Rainbow Dash. She sighed again and occupied herself with staring at the floor. As the loom was mixing a small but containing their anesthesia. You're talking too quickly there, and the music is a bit loud. With staring at the floor. As the loom was mixing a small but containing their anesthetic potion they had worked so hard for. It was a complicated recipe, but it seemed to be going well. Sweetie Belle was idly flipping through the pages of her spellbook. You'd, you're reading that little bit quickly slow down a little bit please slow down and make it sound scary make it sound um scary and pictures i figure the picture doesn't really scrap grim dark to me as well the picture is not scary enough also one thing to note um the beep when when it the when you get to the test card <laughs> is actually a bit too loud when he beep that is so loud it, it, it doesn't even last for one second it's like oh how what two thirds of a second or something it's so quick at least we do the doing the test card at least one second or two seconds and also not too loud please <coughs> see that is actually qu quite loud it doesn't when i do my um my old com video, old com on videos, uh, at least uh, two seconds long or three seconds. Things to prove on for next, for next, when you do your next reading. <sighs> Slow down when you're narration, when you're reading. If you're going to have music, make sure it's lower than the actual dialogue. The dialogue, you want to hear the dialogue more important than the music. If I'm just hearing music, but not I can't hear the dialogue, I'm not sure what's being said. The story was good. I'll do. I managed to hear some of it. The story was good, and Apple Bloom's a bit nutty. Or she's gone insane, really. Apple Bloom's gone insane. Um, Applejack. Uh, sorry to break this to you, but you're gonna be murdered. Exactly. The story, yeah, the story was good. I do like the story was was good. Um, I don't know when I I don't know what chapter I don't know what chapter I'm gonna be in because I wasn't. I'm not sure when my chapter will be in. But overall, <laughs> I will have to put this, give this do this chapter at least <sighs> a seven point seven slash ten seven seven out of ten because. There's so much factors that if the music wasn't that loud, if you didn't rush it, I would have give, given an 8 or 9. Bear in mind when you don't next time. Make sure you spell up a jack names right. Spell it real right next time. I hope you like this reaction or my reaction as I do. And I'll see you next time. Oh, yes.